So the first thing we're going to do is roll the diapers. Now I put the number of diapers that I use in this particular diaper cake in the description box below. I'm also not going to go into too much detail on how to build the diaper cake because I actually made a video previous to this that goes in more in depth on how I did it. Step two is creating our diaper tiers. Now, in this particular step, I used um, the same method that I used in my previous video. However, um, I struggled with this part. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Um, if you want to know how many diapers were used in each tier, I'll link that below in the description box. But in order to solve this issue that I had because my diapers kept falling, I found another video that was basically using a rubber band to link the diaper cake together so that way they didn't move and then you can just kind of stretch it out to build it so I thought that was a creative way I mean you can use the string but I didn't have any help so it was very difficult to keep them in place So after getting all your tiers together, we are going to take our elastic band and measure out the bottom tier in order to create a tutu skirt. Now this is the first time I'm actually creating a tutu skirt for anything and I had to watch a few tutorials but you're going to grab your tool. I got this tool from Michaels and I ended up cutting it in half and then kind of tying it on the elastic band. One thing I love about using elastic band instead of the string, it stretches. So Let's say for instance it's too tight or too small, you can always cut it down or stretch it out to the point where you can use it. One thing I highly recommend is to not use a glitter base tool for a skirt because you'll get the glitter everywhere. I mean this glitter just kept growing and growing going all over the place so that's the only thing I would say I would suggest maybe getting a different color or a yellow tool to use instead but other than that it came out beautiful especially if you don't mind the glitter So you're going to turn your diaper cake over to the side where you tied the knots for the string and you're going to use a safety pin to connect both ends of the tutu skirt together Step four is we are going to add some ribbon. Now, just like my previous video, I used hot glue to connect the ribbon instead of using glue dots. I feel like it's more secure that way, but you're more than welcome to use glue dots instead of hot glue if you don't have it. Now you're going to add tissue paper garland which will add as an icing to the cake which makes it really really pretty. I didn't have any the last time I used lace and you can use that instead but I found it this time at Michael's so I ended up using it. The very last step to this diaper cake is adding embellishments and I added a crown along with some flowers and some party decor that you can just kind of go crazy and go fun with. Now the number one question I had on my previous video was how do I secure the cake topper to the diaper cake and I usually don't because I would usually bring the cake to the event and decorate it there but you can always use fishing line kind of hide the string along inside the diaper cake so it doesn't move if you had to send it to someone.
make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. So I just want to come back because if you stayed subscribed to my channel after three months of not hearing from me because I got married, you are the real MVP. No, you, you, you're going to be with me in the long haul and I appreciate you and I love you. <laughs>